Welcome once again to Cooking Around's channel. And for today, we're going to have some mussels. And these mussels are drunk. What do we call them? Drunken mussels. Sorry, my humor is not really that great. But anyways, it's a great recipe. I know you're going to like it if you like mussels. Now just look at this. This is absolutely awesome. The way I prepare it is going to be tender and juicy. It's not going to be overcooked. And I just love them. Your friends are going to love them. Your family is going to love them. The only person that's not going to love them is my wife. She will not eat not even one. So let's get going here. Okay, grab a large pan or a deep pot, add about two tablespoons or more of olive oil, get the heat on medium, put in about two tablespoons of butter, move that around, and now let's add four to six cloves of minced garlic, and let's move that around for, let's say, about two minutes. Add the zest of one medium lemon, and Put it in there in the pot like this, just stir it around. And this is going to give it a nice, stronger citric taste to your dish. Add about half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes, and yes, the hot kind. Add about one third cup of green onions, also a little bit of the white. Now this is an option, you can add it or not add it. I like it because it gives it that nice oniony flavor that you need. Oniony, never heard that word before. And after about two minutes, let's add about two cups of your favorite white wine. Here I'm using a Portuguese dry wine. Now let's add about half a teaspoon of pepper. You can use black or white. And let's increase that temperature now. Now here I have about two pounds of mussels. They've been cleaned and de-beard. Take off the little goatee if you want to call it. And I scrub them with a brush. And now let's pour them into the pan just like this. Let's move them around. And it's important now to continue stirring for a little while because I want all the juice to blend around the mussels at this point. Okay, let's cover it now and let's wait for it to come to a small boil, not a rolling boil. Okay, it's been about two or three minutes and you can see the mussels have opened up and now I want you to add your salt. Uh, add as much as you want to your heart's desire. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shake it and shake it to get the juices into the mussels now. But if you don't want to shake it, shake it, what you can do is just take your spatula and just move it around and around like this. It'll basically do exactly the same thing. It just depends how fancy you want to be. Now one thing I want you to be careful here. If you see that any muscles did not open up, please discard them for they are kaput, if you want to call that. And now what I want you to do is just Put the top back on, turn off the heat, and now let it sit for about five to six minutes and they are ready to serve. Just look at this. Absolutely awesome. Well, here you have it. Of course, to finish it off, I'm squirting some fresh lemon juice on here. I'm also adding some parsley, but you know something, this is all options. So this is up to you. So once again, I come to the end of my video. I thank you very much for watching my video. I hope to see you next time again. And all I can say for now and once again is goodbye from Tony and cooking around. Goodbye now.